How beautiful you are, O Virgin of Christ, who were worthy to receive the Lord's crown, the crown of perpetual virginity. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us now call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to cause sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your mercy led St. Clair to a love of poverty, Grant to her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, you may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, the headland of Pisgah, which faces Jericho, and the Lord showed him all the land, Gilead, and as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah, as far as the Western Sea, the Negev, the circuit of the Jordan, with the lowlands at Jericho, city of Palms, and as far as Zor. The Lord then said to him, This is the land which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that I would give to their descendants. I have let you feast your eyes upon it, but you shall not cross over. So there, in the land of Moab, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died as the Lord had said. And he was buried in the ravine opposite Beth Peor, in the land of Moab. But to this day, no one knows the place of his burial. Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyes were undimmed and his vigor unabated. For 30 days, the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab till they had completed the period of grief and mourning for Moses. Now Joshua, son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom since Moses had laid his hands upon him. And so the children of Israel gave him their obedience, thus carrying out the Lord's command to Moses. Since then, no prophet has arisen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. He had no equal in all the signs and wonders the Lord sent him to perform in the land of Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants and against all his land. And for the might and the terrifying power that Moses exhibited in the sight of all Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Hear now all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two or three are gathered on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we celebrate the memory of St. Clair, the, uh, shall we say, the first, the first woman disciple of St. Francis of Assisi. And together they pursued a life of evangelical councils, but highlighting the evangelical poverty. And uh, of course, the St. Clair also gave birth to a community of women contemplatives, which of course we all know as the, the poor Clares. In, in parallel to the men communities of St. Francis of Assisi. I don't want to deal more on that, so I think that's, uh, was, uh, in, that's enough for us to remember St. Clair. Because I would like to focus on the Gospel. And I believe this is a very good advice from the Lord on how are we going to relate with one another, especially in terms of offenses or sins. Notice here that the, that the steps are always meant to reform the of offender, to make him or her realize of her faults. Well, we have to admit it that uh, 
when we are guilty, or sometimes even if you're not guilty, sometimes you are not aware that you are guilty, I mean, no? so whether you're consciously aware or unaware, sometimes uh, guilt no? can be suppressed. And so sometimes you know you are at fault, but you cannot admit it. You cannot really sometimes even identify what your faults are. And so it takes some some people to mirror it, to, to show to you in a charitable and loving manner your faults. With the aim to correct in charitable manner, to rectify, not to condemn or judge in a manner that would uh, destroy the person, but that aiming that the person will repent. After all is said and done, that is the message of Jesus. He did not come to condemn the world, but to call it for repentance. The judgment of Jesus is repentance. Okay, so of course, ultimately, we know that in our, in our theology, ultimately, those who are sinners will be punished and those who are doing good will be rewarded. But as long as we have the grace of life, the grace of this earthly life, we can repent as much as possible, as many times, as, 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 often, as, as often as we want. And so this is the grace of life here on earth, that we can repent here as many and as often as we want to repent. Because as I said, I think I've said this before, in the theology of, I think it was Aquinas who said this, that spirits do not repent. So when we die, we will just feel the guilt or the joy, the guilt of our sins and the joy of our goodness. Yun lang. That's why those who are in purgatory, they cannot repent there. They have to pay na lang the balance of their, of their debts. And those who are in hell, they are not repenting in hell. There's no repentance in hell. That's why if there, are, if there is repentance in hell, then hell will be empty. And maybe Satan will also will one day in eternity repent. But it won't happen because the spirits, spiritual beings, are incapable of changing their will. So, kita man, when we die, the last chance of repentance will be when we breathe our last breath. When we breathe out, that's it. After that, it's fixed. That's why the joy of, I mean, the, the grace of this earthly life, and maybe this is something that at least should allow us to pray to God to continue to live here on earth, it's because the luxury, we have the luxury of repentance. We have the, the opportunity and the privilege of repenting. Even how many times we sin, we can always repent. And that is the, the, the one of the graces, and I think one of the most important graces that the Lord has bestowed upon us. As I said, no, I would repeat it again. Because when we die, when we are dead, when we are already spirits, no more repentance. We will not be. It's already God's justice being operative, operative there. Either we go to hell or heaven or to purgatory. That's it. Hindi na pwede kasi lang. Ay ako Lord na para kwan ako galima na katuwa sa impier. No more repent na lang ako. Hindi na tapos na. So my dear friends, that is the beauty of this human life. And, and that's the, one of the reasons that we have to take care of our human existence, of our bodies. Precisely because this is the only situation in existence that we can truly repent. Now, that is for the individual. But how about for the others who repent? Or rather, who offend? Stay a moment. Jesus said here on Gospel of Matthew, He gave us the step. He approached the person. You approach the person and tell him or her, mirror back to her in a very charitable way, of course, because as I said before, ang langaw nagapalapit sa 
matamis, hindi sa langgaw. Have you noticed? Ang langaw, wala, nagkakagto sa langgaw. Pero nagkakagto sa honey, sa mga nami kaya pagkaon. Di ako mana. Kung gusto, if you want to win friends, and especially if you want to correct them, do it in a manner that is so friendly. Kaya karon kung layo ka pa, nagsimangot ka na, ay, gusto makorek ka pa sa iba, nga tawo? Ay, nako, Diyos ko, laganan, ganda lang sa tawo. Ang mga mga, tabi may utang sa imo ang tawo, no? Hindi git pag-awaya. Hindi git pag-awaya ang may utang sa imo. Nga ahaw? Kaya kung awayon mo na, hindi na na siya magbayad sa imo. <laughs> Di ba la, no? That's why to be friend. Oh, when you correct people. When you correct people, do that also. Be friendly as much as possible because people tends to listen to friends. Sometimes, mga sinika, masakitan mo na siya. Pero for the sake of your friendship, hindi na na siya mga kigid. Ay, sungod-sungod eh. Sometimes, ganyan ko, may pulo palagyo, may bayan na na siya. Yeah. Mayroon na siya makita sa sala na akong pero sala eh, hindi niya kita. May sungkot-sungkot man na. But if you are friends, really friends, ha? ultimately, uh, the person will just say na lang, siguro, oh, no? at the very best, uh, bayan na lang ito kayo, nakasala, magigit ko. Ah, ah kung magigit ko sala, forget na lang. Sige na lang. Nah. Pero kung kontra mo na, nga doon nga pangaki ka again, ay, awayon ka pa. That's why, when, that's why, no? The first step is if your brother or sister sins against you, approach him and tell him the fault between you and me alone or between you and her alone. Hindi pagsakay ka, bandira. Ang problema, ito naman sa buong kalibutan, sa buong kalibutan, no? Ay, Diyos ko, wala ka lang kabalo, kali, ay, nakabalo ng bilog, ang banwa. Ikaw na lang niya, ang wala kabalo sa sala mo. The rest of the world has already known your faults. Which is not the Christian way. Now, even even if the person will tell you, I mean, if even if you talk on an individual basis, sometimes people will not listen and they will not be convinced. And so Jesus tell us that you, you get a witness. Another person who who, who observe or have seen the same thing. Kaya ba si tuod manggit? Nga ba si imo lang na? No? This one is not only for the sake nga ma ang offender, ma siling uh, tuod kay duwa na. Hindi. It's also for you who is accusing your brother or your sister. Nga ah, you need a, you have, you need a co-witness precisely because ba si imo malang gina tuod. Pwede gina. Because as uh, Often, it is said, quid, quid recipitor, ad modum recipiente recipitor. Which means that we, we receive things according to the mode of the recipients. And some another psychological cliche is that we only see what is inside of us. So, basta nakita mo na na sa imong uh, brother or sister, kay precisely because imo na galiya. Nan. That's why you need another witness to, to confirm to you also is the one accusing kay sakto magid ang imo ginahambal sa iya hindi nga imo imo lang kay possibly gid possibly gid ja nga ang ginaaccuse mo sa ibang nga tawo imo gali or basis sensitive ka lang katama so bungod na panahon no this is one thing that i have realized with this pandemic People is read always in heightened state of scare. Pati ako man guilty man ako sina. May makita lang ko na nga yellow revo, ribbon on oh tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. Di ba no? Sa mga quarantine, na quarantine ng mga balay, grabe na nila ako ba kubasan dugan ko. My god, kalapit. Hmm. Sa una, pero kanang ang tao Kakabalan magkikita, no? Notice nyo? Sa una, pag first time pa lang, mga first months pa lang, ginapang butangan sa mga ribbon, ng yellow, ang mga balay. Nga may under quarantine. Grabe cool ba mo sa buong... Sa buong nga, labayan mo? Mas di ka lang, ay! Na, quarantine, galit sila, no? Kakabalan kita. Tuod magina. Pero, 
para madulang kabalta, i-heighten na naman. O, ti saka naman kay. O, ti subong may delta virus na naman. Ti, of course, tuod man na siya. Nga dangerous, that's why heightened alert na naman. Ti, ginastress na nga, ginastress ang psyche, ta? Magtapos ang saka mo, may dutay nga panaog, kalma-kalmante. Tapos ang saka na naman. Ti, ikaw kurba ka naman. Mm, anyway. We are always in a heightened sense of uh, heightened alert, heightened heightened scare. No? Sometimes you also got, uh, you got so, you're always on your nerve, at the end of your nerves. Have you noticed that? Kung you, hindi ka klaro sa iyong mental health, ay ang bot, mabuang ka na lang. Say, hindi ka patay sa virus, ah, patay ka sa nervyos. Kaya nga, dugay-dugay lang, may news na naman to. Dugay-dugay, news na naman. Alas na daw, daw. Pila ang, pila ang cases. Pero you notice, no? Kita nga tao, we are selective. We are so selective of the data. Nga ako, kaya nga ito nga, nga mind is, ginareport mo na da ang pila ang cases, pila ang recoveries, pila ang patay. Pero ang nagabilin sa ato mind, ang patay. Wala tagasatan, ay kadamo, saan nakarecover? Kaya kita Ang ato nga mind niya, pero pila ang patay, ay kadamo, saan napatay? Kasi kung baan ka na naman. So, na high tenure scare natin, which is of course true naman, to be, to be, to be, to be, to be cautious. Yung iba naman sa atong Diyos, kung Mario Sepp, sa Tisima, do wala COVID, di pa nung duman nila yan, no? do wala lang. Mm. So, because of that, we are always on a nerve. We are so sensitive. Due tayo lang actuation. Grabe na din, naglain na din ang buot. I give you a very good example. It happened to me. Alam ako, I'm so strict with social distancing. Because I, I believe social distancing should not be photo op lang. Nga, for example, mapungko ka mo sa... Oh, example na nandiri, no? Oh, there is a simbahan. Hindi, naka-distansya. Pero pagkagawa sa simbahan, nagkatakata, makamugyapo. <laughs> Wala magyapo ka maintain sa one meter distance. Kaya ano ba yan? Mag-meeting. Oo oh, man na, may mga plukuan. Distansya. Pero kung magkinao na, hala, abrihan ang maskara, ang ah, face mask, ka mga rin wakal, ka pang libak. O ti, hindi na social distancing to. Ito social distancing, hindi ka man photo op lang. Social distancing should be maintained at all times. Di ba lang? Munang raso, at least one meter. Hindi ba ka muna mapatay kung one meter ang kalayuon nyo. Mga istoryahan na yung mga kamuna. Mm. Pero anyway, I I'm so strict with that because I have to protect also myself and other people. Just kung may isa ko ka, kilala ko man siya. Actually, kilala ko man siya. That's why, siguro over-familiarity ang ako, on my part. No? I was over-familiar. I was calling him because I want to say something. Ina sila ko, ay, 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 dira lang, dira lang. Hindi ko palapit, kid. Amo na ba kayo, dupan mo, dumad, dumad, gusto ko sa ako, duma. Kaya e, ako man at that time, eh, kadamos ang ako ngayon pa minsan, may gaya-story ako din nga lain, so may nagsulod na naman. Yung sila ngayon mo, kung sila ako mag-amo sila, nga may, ang tao ka palapit, just to be, you know, just to be uh, courteous about it. Ako lang na nag-aisol. Kung namin ang tao ka palapit, ako lang na may isol, just to maintain the one meter distance. Kisa may, uh, <laughs> Kasi malipat mabal ako, may dingding nag-alis sa likod. <laughs> so, sobra ako ka-isol. Pero itong panahon na to, I was so on my nerves actually because I am, I am taking, I was uh, doing something, uh, I was taking care of something, you know, problematic. Nakabal ako siya, dira lang, dira lang, dira lang. Ay, Diyos ko, wala itong blaman siya. Dira lang, dira lang, dira lang. Not too near. I only got the feedback that person was hurt because of my action. Ang hambal niya, and a feeling niya, which is a very sad also, and I'm sorry about this actually, and a feeling niya, ido siya kung naging tabog. My God! And I was asking my secretary, because my secretary is with me, was it really bad? Was it really that bad? 
when I said the dra'lan dra'lan, yung hindi mag-father ato ka, ato ka, pa malang ato ka, normal malang ato, nga gambang nga dra'lan dra'lan, wala mas nga yung tabo yung ido. Yan. See, for me, uh, both sides, I, I have also have my fault because as I said, we are always in a heightened state of scare. Kasi siya masiguro, may harap masaya problema nga iya man. Act, actions can be interpreted in so many ways. That's why we need two or three testimonies. No? And lastly, even if there are testimonies, you call the entire church. Oh my God! Anong po si Lingon sin eh? Ang bilog ng katawahan eh, panaugol mo na ako. Oh, nga si Kwa, nakasala, hindi ako. <laughs> Ay, palawa, ragwag mo na yung bilog kalibutan. Si so and so, nakasala, hindi siya mamati sa sala niya, kundi nahon ta siya. Ay, hindi ah. Because you notice, uh, at the end, Jesus said, even if he refuses to listen to the church, which means actually to a greater community, but not publicly. Hindi naman na yan siling i-publicize mo yan. Unless the scandal is public, so. Pero kung hindi man siya public, you don't need to publicize it. And sometimes, even if it is public, you do it in, very ma- in a manner that would not create more scandals. Pero even then, if the person will not mend his or her ways, then you treat them like a tax collector or a Gentile. You can interpret this prescription in two ways. Treat him like a Gentile or a tax collector. Which means nga, you excommunicate him or her. You set him outside your community. No, I-reject mo siya. Pwede na siya. You can interpret it that way. Pero on the other hand, we are reminded of the actions of Jesus himself towards the tax collectors. Ano yung action ni Jesus towards the tax collectors? Wala yung i-reject ah. He would go and continue to befriend them. That's why ang mga pariseyo, ang mga sadyuseyo, nagambal, ay naano man lang siya nga manunudlo niyo, ano man lang yung rabay niyo, ay nga nagasagay na siya, inom, kagkaon, upon sa mga makasasala, ng mga tax collector, ng mga Gentiles. Yan. So, how would you interpret now, and then treat he, if he won't listen to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. How would you treat that? As I said, you may treat it negatively as in ostracize the offender. Pagwaasya. But that is not the way of Jesus. Because Jesus did not reject the Gentile or the tax collector. Anong ginawa ni Jesus with the tax collectors and the Gentiles? He continued to befriend them. So, Ako man ang prescription ni Lord. Even if hindi siya mamati, iyapon, tanang-tanang, naging panawag mo ng tanang ng mga santo sa kalangitan na mag-witness sa imo that against the offender in trying to win him or her to reform, kaya hindi iyapon, ah, sige lang. Continue to befriend that person just like Jesus did to the tax collectors and to the Gentiles. In other words, is a never-ending process of befriending and calling the person to reform in a manner that you also, the one who is accusing, should be reformed. It takes, it takes two to tango. So may the good Lord bless us. Amen. Let us now offer our petitions to the Lord as we say, Lord, fill us with the spirit of reconciliation. Lord, fill us with the spirit of reconciliation. May we remove the plank in our own eye that we may see clearly in removing the speck in our brother's eye, we pray. Lord, fill us with the spirit of reconciliation. When we point out the faults of others, may we do it with humility and true concern for them. May we, may we not take it against others if they in turn point out our own faults, we pray. Lord, fill us with the spirit of reconciliation. In essential things, 
May we have unity in non-essentials, liberty, and in all things, charity, we pray. Lord, fill us with the spirit of reconciliation. May husband and wife speak well of each other, try to show their spouse's good side, and not his or her weakness and faults, we pray. Lord, fill us with the spirit of reconciliation. May we avoid the grave sin of slander, venting our resentment and envy even in social media, causing damage that is hard to repair, we pray. Lord, fill us with the spirit of reconciliation. Almighty Father, may you grant us our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We bring the offerings of our devotion to be consecrated by you, O Lord, in commemoration of Blessed Clare, for by the consolation you give us in this life, you show that we should not lose hope of what is promised for eternal life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them in the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, 
and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Sebastian, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calumsod, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teachings, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life.
Let us pray. Renewed, O Lord, at the wellsprings of salvation, we humbly entreat you that to the intercession of Blessed Claire, holding more closely day by day to Christ, we may merit to be co-heirs in his kingdom of grace, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please all kneel as we pray the Oratio Imperata. God of our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cure for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. May the outpouring of your blessings on the 75th year foundation anniversary of Carmel obtain for the human family the healing graces and strength of faith so needed and that a renewal of relationship with God through prayer change our hearts and lives for the better. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of all Christians and health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Sebastian. Pray for us. Saint Rob. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungso. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.